Hello! So, in my previous video I spoke about these uh, hard drives here. Um, small portable Seagates that I got from my Unraid server. And while I was trying to mount those I had some issues with my uh, regular Unraid server. I had to move all the disks into another system. Which is why this is just hanging all over the place. But today we're going to try and move everything back. So that means uh, we're going to take out the HBA card in here. Uh, which I believe is some sort of Dell flash to IT mode. So it's just an, some Dell RAID card flash to IT mode. So it's just an HBA. Doesn't really matter which one it is. Um, and well, what we're going to do, we're going to pull that. We're going to pull all the drives and um, then we're going to try to put it back in the original system because I think I've got it, it to work after a bit of cleaning and reseeding the RAM and so on. And now, in theory, this should be a really simple task. We just pull all the drives. We pull the uh, USB key, which uh, it's probably not a lot of light, it's hidden in there somewhere. Um, and we just stick it in the other system and boot it. And Unraid should actually um, recognize all the drives. It does not rely on them being plugged into a specific port. It should uh, just recognize them from the serial number. So we shouldn't even have to uh, worry about plugging everything in uh, correctly and so on but that remains to be seen that's what we're gonna try and figure out in this video so uh, yeah let me just power this down and then uh, then we'll get on with it okay so I think we're about good to go here we have all the discs uh, over here and uh, the various cables that we need we have the case here I have plugged in like all the converters and stuff to uh, power converters to to get enough SATA power in that system for all 12 discs and uh, now we basically just need to put it all together which should be fairly straightforward at least in theory so um yeah the reason i really would like to get it back onto this uh, system even though it's um it's been acting up on me is that this has extra PCI slots which means I have the option of installing a, um, a graphics card for video encoding and stuff um, I couldn't do that in the other system because it only has one full-size PCI Express slot and besides the graphic cards this uh, RAID controller slash HPA card needs uh, at least a 4x as well and yeah so that simply didn't have the, that option but let's just uh, stick that in there straight away that just goes in the bottom slot down here if I can there's not a lot of room with the graphics card in there but yeah so that's uh, down there <laughs> down there um, now we basically just need to install our discs so uh, this case has this rail system where these simply uh, these uh, rails here um, on the side sl slots in uh, up here now we can simply drop these in here like so but because especially on this side there's not a lot of clearance between the hard drives and the power supply down here so I just need to connect up some power to this drive before I drop it in and we should have all the power we need right here so let's see this should probably go on the back ones like so 
все. That doesn't seem to want to get on there. It is the right way around. Let's try moving that. Maybe it is on there. It seems like it's on there crooked. But maybe not. Maybe it's just my viewing angle. And there's two more here. Mm. So you need to go. Mm -hmm. Obviously there'll be a lot of cables. When we have 12 drives, we need power and SATA connections to each and every one. Each means cable management will be a nightmare, but uh, yeah, we'll just have to deal with it. So this goes there and then there, so you go there. And like so, and just make sure we don't pull any cables as we drop it in there. And I'll just stick a finger down there to check that we don't have a ton of strain of any of the SATA cables or anything. It seems fine. This other one should be a bit easier, part because I actually have an adapter with all the necessary blocks pretty close to where it drops in. So that you know, will go like that and this then yeah, it doesn't matter. So we'll connect up all of these. I uh, probably don't want this tangled up here. So all of these goes on here and then you just drop down there okay so that's this side done we need to feed these through to the other side so we can connect it to the rate car there's a hole down here so just see if I can get it. Probably need to do it one at a time, unless I can not hit it. Like so. Let's move this up, turn it around. We should be able to pull these through here. And they'll just go into, oh, yeah. So I didn't screw these in yet, <laughs> now they dropped out. That's not good, but they should go to bag in there. And these cables simply slot into our little SES controller down here, which, yeah, you can't see what I'm doing, but neither would I be able to really, because it's hidden behind this graphics card. So I'm just doing it by feel. They're fairly easy to get in there. And now we come to the issue. And part of why I removed those rails is that um, I can't actually fit more than one or two more drives in here as this case is configured. So the 3D printer just finished. And um, what I'm going to do here is I've printed a bracket that allows me to take these four drives and simply stack them one on one of top of each each other and mount them down here where there is uh, a free spot where you just the bottom of the case where you can just barely see but right about down here so uh, let me get those brackets off the printer and some screws to secure the uh, <laughs> the rails in the back and then uh, we can get this done Okay, so here we have our little uh, hard drive tower. Just 3D printed uh, two brackets, one to go each side. So 
um, we stack four high and then basically what we do is we mount the bottom one to the bottom of the case and then the rest will stick to that so now I just need to figure out um, the cables here um, yeah I may need to uh, plug all these in before I mount it otherwise I think I'll have issues there won't be a lot of room to work with afterwards at least so we should probably go with the, all the top slots up here um, and let's see what do we have in terms of angled connectors and stuff so we have two angle one let's go put those and the bottom slate SATA slots uh, I can't see I got that thing down here wait you're angled the wrong way bitches okay so we're not doing that we're going with the straight ones down there <laughs> well I need straight ones from all of them then see the five the six and that's angled no you're angled the right way so we could use you Mm, yeah, you are angled the right way. But you guys are not. So you, at least you can go in the bottom. Here. Let's see. There really isn't a lot of room to work with. There, well, that's quite annoying. I figure probably should remove that graphics card. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. That will give me a bit more room. to do something here should also get you out of the way well I don't know because I still need there's gonna be a lot of cables in this small case but uh, I'll deal with that <laughs> at another time and it simply does not really matter right now I'll figure it out so we have two cables there then see you go like that and you go uh, like that And then we we'll need to see if I can hook everything up and maybe have a couple of screws ready to semi-secure this at least. Uh, these here should do. So yeah, let's put you over there so I can reach you. So we have four SATA cables and four power cables. We need to you will need to go in the bottom one because the rest are angled. Ah, you weren't angled. Maybe they aren't angles. The top ones are angled at least. So I go like this. Like that. That's not great. I don't like that bend on this here I don't know if you can tell but that doesn't look great mm. uh, I'll see if I can find some other cables at a later point All right now we just want to see if this actually works or not so does any of you uh, let's 
let's see, you'll go where I probably should put you up top. And you. And you. And then before we stick you in there, we have one more SATA power thing here. Which we need to see if we can get hooked up. This is going to be tight. Mm, there we go. So now can we get room for you guys? This might be a bad idea because now the ray card is actually in the way. Can I put you on the... like this? Instead? Does that line up? I might not have fought this through. <laughs> yeah, there won't be room here. At least not there. Can we go out here then? Okay, so, yeah, I'll have to figure this out <laughs> at a later point. Everything should be hooked up now, so I need to try and see if I can get the graphics card in there. And then we'll boot it. Well, one last thing I forgot, the USB card. I have one of these adapters that mounts internally, so that is actually, let's see, USB 3. But since I don't have uh, an available USB 3 header, I have a 2 dot USB 2 converter. And that should go like that. And then, we, yeah, I can get to the headers. So for now, we'll just take this and stick it in the back and boot it from it that way. And let me get some power to this. So we are booting on right here with all the drives installed. It might take a little bit longer to boot uh, this first time around because it's, um, yeah, it's on new hardware. It might decide that it needs to change some drivers and stuff. But if we're lucky, it'll see all the drives and start the array and we're good to go. But if it doesn't do that, if for some reason it decides it can't find the right disk for the right slots in the array. Then I have taken some screenshots of the Unraid setup of the array before I started this process. And um, that means I can simply recreate the array manually if I need to. But that should not be necessary, but we'll see. Now just before in BIOS I saw that it did in fact uh, find all the drives that was connected to the motherboard. Of course, in there I can't see the drives that's connected to the HPA card. Uh, HPA card, um, yeah. So I won't know till it actually boots. So uh, we'll give it a few minutes here to get going, and then uh, we'll see. So it took a few minutes, but uh, it's up and running. I have the IP address down there at the bottom of the screen. And if we switch around to my desktop here, we should see a familiar picture. Oh, it looks a bit weird on camera, but we have 10 data disks plus one and two parity drives and everything is supporting in green. The array, array is live and well in theory. And uh, yeah. I'm happy and that's so easy. <laughs> you simply move the drives and everything should be working. So that's how you move an Unraid array from one piece of hardware to another. Move the drives, move the USB stick and you're good to go.